So it is um, about 9.50 at night on April 2nd. Um, so tomorrow is when I'm going to be getting my packing out. But I wanted to film a little bit of how I'm feeling about that. Because, um, I don't know, there's like a little bit of like different feelings that I have. Um, so, you know, up until this point, I really haven't had to focus on like what's down there like after surgery I, I you know I'm just laying here I know there's pain stuff like that but like I'm not like indulging in it I guess um but with getting the packing out obviously I'm gonna have to dilate three times a day for a while and um I'm gonna when you dilate like right now a lot of the stuff down there is numb um not all of it but when it's numb I'm not really gonna be able to feel my way around so I'm gonna have to like use a mirror to make sure I'm like putting the dilators in the right place and everything um so I think I like I don't want to say I'm like worried about getting the packing removed um but it is going to be something that's like really like in my face for a while just because like it has to be in order for me to heal it um and to make sure that I'm like doing everything correctly um but the, so there is like a part of me that's a little bit like uneasy because I just don't know how I'm gonna feel and like it's not like it's something that I'm just gonna have to like power through like even if like looking at it makes me be like look it's not it's so swollen and so bruised and everything like it's not gonna look good um <laughs> like you know for a little while <clears throat> but I'm gonna have to look at it every single day every time that I dilate and like so there's a little part of me, or maybe more than a little, but there's some part of me that's like, kind of like worried because like I don't know what to expect. Um, but what I've also been trying to keep in mind, and I, I, I'm hoping this helps, is kind of like a perspective shift. Um, you know, when I would watch videos of other people who have gotten this done and they're like, oh, like I hate dilating, I hate dilating and like, I'm sure I will hate it after a while. It's going to be very repetitive and I'm just probably going to get sick and tired of it. But what I'm trying to like frame in my mind is like, instead of being like, ugh, like I have to do this three times a day or, oh, now I have to do it again, like two more times today or like, you know, whatever, just like feeling like annoyed that I have to do it. I'm trying to like see it more as like, this is like the first time in my life that like, I'm able to like connect with my body and like now like I have the opportunity to do that and like to take care of it and like even if it doesn't like look like a regular like how it's supposed to look while it's still being bruised and swollen and stuff like that like I'm still like I get to have that time and that like emotional intimacy like with myself um and connect with my body by taking care of it um and so I'm trying to just kind of keep that perspective because I think if I look at it that way it feels like like a almost like a blessing or like I don't know just like a good thing like oh it's time to connect with myself like you know and it's I don't think it's gonna be like fun but it's at least like if I keep that perspective I feel like that may that turns it into a positive experience instead of like some annoying thing that I have to do all the time um and I don't know I think it'll just make me feel better I'm hoping um and you know of course if I am getting like tired of it or whatever like I'm not gonna ignore any negative feelings that I have um because it's important always to feel what you feel acknowledge what you feel whatever um but I think that that perspective is gonna help me almost be more excited to do the really annoying things because it's like pushing me closer and closer to like understanding myself and feeling connected to myself and like all that kind of stuff and like I get that opportunity three times a day to do that um and it might be really frustrating and I mean, I'm sure it will especially like you know I'm gonna have to learn how to wash down there again um with a different body part that's healing and I'm gonna have to learn how to pee again like all these different things so I do think that like there's a very good chance I'll get overwhelmed especially in the beginning because I'm just gonna be like like
like my brain is gonna be like I don't know how to do any of this and like what is going on and like I feel like it could be really overwhelming um but I think you know over time I'll get the hang of it and then hopefully with the perspective of this being like a self-care task rather than like a I have to task that that'll help hello so <clears throat> Right now it's April 3rd, Sunday, um, and today is the day that I got my packing out. Um, I didn't film it just because I thought there were going to be more people in the room, but it was just me and um, my surgeon's like right-hand man, dude. And um, it was like, it was just hard to angle it. And also, I... Like, I could tell that there were going to be, like, a lot of feelings from my end that, like, came with it. And I wanted to just be focused on, like, what was going on and, like, letting myself, like, feel these things instead of trying to, like, multitask, I guess. Um, but, anyways, so everything came out great. Um, my, or I don't, I should ask his name, but the guy, <laughs> um, he uh, said that, like, everything looked great. Um, and he said that, <clears throat> um, like, so he helped me dilate the first time and he was like, sometimes there will be like stuff left over on the dilator and he like pulled it out and he was like, oh, like there's not a whole lot on here. And like, like everything that he said was like that I'm like exactly where I'm supposed to be, if not like better. Um, so that's like pretty reassuring. <laughs> um, and yeah, dilating is weird. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like weird to like put something in there and then like hold it there for 20 minutes. But, um, but it was interesting and like, um, whenever, so the way that they did mine, I don't know if this is how other doctors do it, but when I like got out of surgery, the stuff that was down here, I had my catheter, I had packing and I had a tube to drain the blood and I had, um, like saran wrap all over it basically and so he took off the saran wrap and he took out the drainage too with like the blood and whatever and I was like just like feeling really emotional um which also might be because I realized they have not been giving me my morning dose of estrogen <laughs> so like um, I haven't been, like, off the walls or anything, but I think that may have played a little bit of a part into it as well. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, um, so then he, I, like, asked if we could take, like, a quick break, whatever, and then he ended up, after the break, pulling out the catheter, which I thought was gonna be, like, a longer thing to do, um, just because, I don't know, I pictured the tube to be really long, but he just pulled it right out and, like, it felt like I had to, like, pee, but, like, I didn't, um, and then, I don't know, I started getting, like, really overwhelmed, and I was, like, can we take another break, and, um, I was, like, trying not to cry in front of this man that I barely know, <laughs> um, and I was, I did, like, shed a few tears, just because it's, like, <clears throat> I don't know, overwhelming, and, like, it's, like, I don't know, like, it's just a lot. I really don't know. He was like, I hope those are happy tears. I'm like, they're overwhelmed tears. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Like, but um, anyway, so he took it out and he actually, I had him take pictures on my phone so I could see it. And it actually, like, it was better than what I was thinking. Like, obviously it's very, very bruised and it's um, all these like scars and stitches and stuff, but I could see it. Like, it didn't look like, um, some random collage of things that don't make any sense like to me it looked like oh like like I could see how it's gonna be in uh, however many months once the bruising is gone and the, the scars have faded a little bit more or whatever like like I could kind of actually see like what it was gonna look like um which I wasn't expecting so that actually kind of put um like it made me feel like relieved um just because you know, like, I've talked about it that, like, I can't plan. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I can't plan the unknown because I've never been through this before. Um, so being able to actually sort of, like, 
have like a good idea of like how things are gonna look in the future um help me kind of like settle down a little bit um when he took out the packing so I guess different surgeons surgeons do it differently because whenever I would watch other people who got this done on YouTube they said that it's almost like one long cloth and they just keep yanking it and yanking it until it's all out but mine um it seemed like so from the outside when like when I still had the packing in there from the outside it felt and looked like those um bands that you get like or not bands like the tape but it's not tape when you get your blood work drawn and they like wrap that stuff around you and it's all stretchy and it sticks to itself that's what it felt like when I had the packing in um but I don't know if that was just the outside of the packing or if that was the whole packing but regardless the packing came out very quickly um and I was surprised about that too because I thought that it would take longer because that's what um, a lot of other people said. So, yeah, he took that out and I was feeling better. He showed me how to dilate. Um, and it's actually pretty simple. Um, and I was expecting it to hurt more. Um, I will say, though, <laughs> if you are going through dilation at home and stuff, if you um, do things like use the devil's lettuce <laughs> or whatever, um, or like things that could make you tired do not do it like <laughs> right before you're supposed to dilate because like they gave me pain meds um dilated like five minutes before he came in just to help with like the pain of taking out um like the tubes and stuff oh my god I almost fell asleep like four times <laughs> while I was dilating <laughs> oh my god but whatever um, so just be wary of that, um, and, like, maybe it wouldn't be, like, depending on how much of a morning person you are, maybe don't dilate as soon as you wake up in the morning, maybe make yourself some coffee, or, like, you know, let, like, 30 minutes go by so you're not so groggy, or, like, whatever, um, because falling asleep while you're dilating, I feel like it's a very bad thing, um, <laughs> but... But yeah, overall, I'm going to go take a nap. Um, but I do need to take a shower. I can get up and walk and stuff. But um, I'm going to take a nap because that Dilaudid just knocked me out. Uh, but yeah, so it went well, um, taking all the packing out and everything. And I'm pleasantly surprised at how well it went and how, I don't know, I felt like, or I assumed that through this whole process, I would be like incredibly ungrounded and just like almost like frantic the whole time but I'm like surprised at how calm I've been even when I have had feelings of like nervousness or anxiety like they haven't like taken over me they're just like there um so I feel like you know I've been really fortunate in that sense um so all right I'm gonna go back to bed <laughs> So it's about 12.35 and I just went to the bathroom for the first time, which is something that is necessary in order for me to go home, <laughs> um, which I should be going home tomorrow, um, as long as like everything's good. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, a lot of people when they get this surgery and they go to the bathroom, their stream um, <laughs> can be a little, all over the place because of all the swelling that it like positions things wrong um but luckily I guess I'm fortunate um it just went like straight into the toilet bowl so that was nice that was easy um and it like felt so weird because like most things down there are still numb so like <clears throat> it was just like really I don't know it was like so strange but um but yeah, also, Trey is here with me right now and said he would like to say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> um, he was so much more excited before I actually, like, turned the video on to him. He was like, I want to say hi to everybody. I was in the moment of helping you piss. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um... But also one thing that I wanted to add on to this, which has nothing to do with like using the bathroom, but I was thinking like one one thing that kind of like really worried me about the surgery was like, I felt like it was kind of going to be like 
like all of a sudden like you know you go to sleep with one body part and you'll wake up with another um but so many of the things down there are numb um and like you know it's gonna slowly obviously be not numb um but it feels like now that i think about it i think that for me um kind of makes it better because it's still kind of gradual like like when i started hrt it wasn't like i started it and then the next day i woke up looking like a completely new person um and so like hrt was a little bit easier for me because it was so gradual and i feel like since everything's numb like i'm gonna be learning very slowly what my body needs and all that kind of stuff so <clears throat> um so I kind of actually like that it's numb. I feel like it kind of helps me ease into it more instead of like it being like thrown in my face and it being so overwhelming. Um, I'm sure I'm still going to get overwhelmed and stuff like that. Um, or I'm still going to have like my frustrations and stuff. But I'm kind of glad that it's all numb and that it's going to slowly start being un-numb. <laughs> so. um, also something that I wanted to mention about... um like going to the bathroom after getting the catheter out it's it's kind of a weird feeling because like you know like you can have that feeling of like oh I have to use the bathroom and I can feel it like as it starts to make its way towards like the outside world but then all of a sudden it disappears because it's numb and then I just like feel it like or not feel I like hear it dripping from me and then I can feel it if it like runs like under me like to my little butt cheeks or anything <laughs> so it's like kind of weird that it like disappears so it's hard to know like when I'm actually done so I just wait until I hear the dripping stop because I can't actually feel that it's done <laughs> um also Trey has been making fun of me all day because um I've been like so I'm not wearing anything besides this gown and like there's all this stuff like bunched up under me so I have all these like impression marks in my little butt cheeks <laughs> and every time I get out Trey just keeps making fun of me <laughs> so that's <was> fun <laughs> also something that like I am definitely open to doing slash um like want to do I guess um so I had my doctor take a picture or two of like what it looked like when um, they took out the packing and everything and like he wanted a picture anyways to show uh, my surgeon because it was like my surgeon's like assistant dude that helped me with like taking out the packing and everything like that um, but I what I'd like to do for myself is to take like a picture of it or have somebody like a friend of mine or somebody take a picture of it like every week so I can see the progress um, obviously I will not be able to upload those pictures to YouTube um, but I was thinking, like, I don't really know how, because I, like, where I could post them, um, but I was thinking, like, if there was somewhere online that I could post them, just so that if anybody was watching this and was, like, curious how things looked or how things healed, like, it's hard to kind of explain it without seeing it, um, so if any of you have any ideas of, like, where I could post these things, um, that would be like cool um because i like i would have loved to see other people's pictures because so many times like i'll see like before and after but it's like before obviously before surgery and then it'll be like six months post-op or something and it's like okay but like what about when it first you know happened like they're they're missing like that middle gap so um if there's anything that any of you can think of about um where i could post these pictures and then just like have a link in like the description box in my videos or something um that'd be awesome because i don't really know where to go because i've thought of like if i made like a private instagram account but that's still i'm pretty sure i could get like flagged or whatever for putting pictures of that like on <laughs> um instagram or something so i'm not really sure so if you have any ideas let me know So right now it is about 9.20 p.m. Um, I just took my first shower, which was really nice, but I forgot to bring a brush, so <laughs> I've just been finger combing it. But um, yeah, it feels really nice to have a shower. <laughs> um, I also 
did, I don't want to say the word because I don't know if it'll like flag the video, but like, like where you put something in there and like flush it out um, uh, to clean out any like whatever that's in there that's been in there for the whole day, like from dilating and stuff like that. Um, so I did that and that was relatively easy. Um, here, the way they did it, they have like a bag that they hang on, um, like an, like the IV pole. Wait, where is it? Yeah, like the IV pole. And then gravity just, you basically stick the under, the other end inside of you and then it just like goes down and flushes you out. Um, but the kind that my doctor recommended to get is one that's like, it's a ball and it has... Like, so you fill up the ball with water and then you put it inside you and you squeeze it. Um, which I think I'll like that better because you can do that one in the shower. Um, it's a little easier to handle. Whereas if you're doing this, you kind of just have to sit down or whatever. Um, I still have to dilate one more time. Um, my doctor said that you're supposed to like flush yourself out after your first dilation of the day and before your last one because the last dilation of the day they have me putting um, some sort of like antibiotic cream on the end of uh, the dilator so that it can help to heal inside um, so if you put that on and then you flush yourself out right afterwards like it's not going to stay in there uh, so I still have to do my last dilation of the day the second one that I did was a little I feel like it wasn't as easy but part of that was because my mom was here <laughs> And, like, I didn't care that she was here because, like, she's been through this before. Because if you haven't watched my other videos, I have two moms. One of them I don't talk to and the other one is trans. Um, so, <laughs> she was, it, like, wasn't uncomfortable with her being here. But I think, like, we were, like, talking and, like, I didn't have my mind completely, like, focused. And, like, she also just kept making me laugh. <laughs> which is not great when you're, like, clenching your stomach muscles and everything while you're trying to, like keep something in there so it was a little bit more difficult than it needed to be um but I'll probably do my next one around like 10 or so so in about like a little over a half hour um I don't know if I said this already but I asked my doctor if the dilations have to be like eight hours apart because we're doing it three times a day we're I'm doing it <laughs> three times a day um but he said that it doesn't have to be like you just want to make sure I mean obviously spread them out you know decently don't do like three within two hours or something but you know like it's not like a strict schedule where like it's going to be horrible if you're off by an hour or two or something um so I think like I have alarms on my phone for when I'm at home so that I don't forget um so I, I think I have the alarm set for like eight in the morning three wait four four in the afternoon and then 10 at night so it's like the intervals would be about or is that what it's called in intervals I don't remember but the times between it would be about six hours six hours and then 10 hours with overnight um and I tend to wake up relatively easily um so I'm not somebody who like sleeps in until like two o'clock in the afternoon or something um so yeah so that was all really nice it was really nice to see my body in the mirror like I wasn't expecting that like I just wasn't thinking about it because I've been wearing the the gown I got a new gown <laughs> fresh um <laughs> but like I wasn't wearing the gown obviously when I was in the shower and I stepped out and was like drying my hair and stuff and I looked and I was like wow like and like I was like walking around my room and it was like so nice to not have something swinging around smacking my legs every which way um <laughs> So it's just like, I don't know, like it's really, it's really nice. Like, I don't even, I don't know. I thought that like at first, like I would feel like, oh my God, this is different. Like, and like, I do obviously feel like it's different, but like, you know how sometimes change can just be hard. And like, I was thinking that this would be really hard on me, um, but it's actually been very like smooth and like, flowing very well um I do think my my toughest thing is going to be dilations because they're not comfortable <laughs> and um it's also hard like from the angle that I'm at I can't tell if I have it in the whole way and like I I get to a point where I think I do because if I try to push it in it just like 
I'm not actually pushing it further in. I'm just pressing it further against. And so, like, if you let go of that pressure, it, like, like you know, like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like, if, um, like, if you go like this, it's uh, like this. It's like I'm going like this, and that's not actually pushing it in, because as soon as I let go of the pressure, it's bringing it back. So, but it's hard, too, because, like, things are numb down there, and I'm, like, worried because it's, like, so close to, like, my, like, intestines and stuff. I'm, like, like, what if I, like, mess up and, like, create a hole in, like, from one hole to the other? Like, like, I just, it's a little weird. So, I'm going to talk to my doctor tomorrow about that and see, like, if he has any, like, advice or, like, like, this is how you know when to stop or, like, you know, whatever, whatever the case. But, I mean, I think I did a pretty good job today. Um especially since it was, like, on my own, um, so, yeah, I think that's everything for today, um, I will, this, this video, I'm gonna, like, put it all together, and then I'm gonna upload it tonight, and then I will start filming, I'm pretty sure I'm going home tomorrow, um, I'm not gonna say I definitely am, because I guess everything can change, but, like, from what it sounds like, basically, I've done everything I need to do, and I'm ready to go home, so that'll be really interesting going home, and, like, being in my own space and like like this isn't a hospital anymore I like I'm back in my life and that's gonna be like whoo it's gonna be interesting <laughs> but I'm excited so I hope you'll have a wonderful night or had a wonderful night or whatever thank you for watching my videos and being supportive and being the wonderful wonderful people that you are um I will see you tomorrow